it's time for a new sketchbook and I'm going to customize my new one. If you have never been to the art project before, I hope you enjoy this video. Please hit the subscribe button for me so you don't miss out on future episodes. And if you enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. So the first thing I did was I started measuring off where I wanted it to be. And my original idea was to create sort of a TARDIS, uh, not TARDIS, um, flux capacitor looking uh, design. Um, I just built that steampunk time machine. Go check out that video. And um, so it had a flux capacitor on it. And I thought that was kind of cool. So I thought about doing a flux capacitor type design. So I created some, um, uh, you know, construction lines here in order to facilitate that but as I was doing it I kind of decided I wanted something a little bit more complicated uh, I have a tendency to make everything a little bit more complicated so um, I started adding more lines to it and I kind of ditched the flux capacitor idea altogether um, if you don't like the construction lines on the front of your sketchbook like this I highly recommend you do the drawing on the inside cover of the sketchbook and that way you can avoid avoid that but uh, the construction lines don't bother me so much um, I like to kind of show my work in what I do uh, you'll notice in my portraits a lot of the construction lines are still there and so on so I didn't take much time to erase it I took a good sharp uh, razor uh, blade and put it in a utility knife and uh, started cutting it out the sketchbook cover was way more thick than intended or than I expected and so it was a little tougher to cut out I think a uh, exacto knife would be better for cutting it out uh, but you should keep your design sort of simple uh, because it is difficult to cut through this cover it's a uh, probably a good um, eighth of an inch thick or more so three sixteenths maybe uh, I fixed the inside where the paper tore with a little bit of glue and then I cleaned off my workstation and I got ready to pour some resin I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning of the video but I'm going to create a resin window in my sketchbook I put some aluminum foil in it sprayed it with some release agent which was basically um, vegetable oil I clamped it down real tight so that the resin wouldn't leak through this is amazing that's the name of it amazing resin uh, I got it at Hobby Lobby uh, it comes with um, two bottles that you uh, mix together the liquids one part for one part uh, equal parts of one liquid and the other liquid and, uh, and then you stir it together this is the dye that I used it's blue it's really thick this is the first time I've ever done it so I'm not sure if the dye is supposed to be that thick um, and then when I um, so it doesn't look like it but that's actually um, two separate tablespoons of each liquid uh, I put little marks on the side of the cup now I dip my uh, mixer into the ink directly and that was way too much so I made a second um, batch of the resin and I just took my mixer out and mixed it in there and that was just enough I think um, didn't want it to be any darker than, than this um, one of the things that you got to be sure and do here is make sure that what you're pointed into is level and I did not do that before I got started so here I am with the level now and I'm trying to level it up um, I eventually put some blocks of wood under the sketchbook and that helped to make it level you can see it's not level right now but here in just a minute I'm gonna put some blocks of wood you may not even see but I put some blocks of wood underneath it and uh, then it leveled up just fine once that was level I used a syringe uh, this is basically a baby syringe the kind you put medicine in from uh, you know you get some medicine from Walmart like some cold medicine or whatever and uh, you use this syringe to get the right amount for your baby that's the syringe that I used there's no sharp needle or anything at the end of it when I was all done um, after it cured for 48 hours uh, it's like th clear plastic I just wiped it off with a paper towel and I used a little bit of sandpaper to um, take down the burrs that were left behind the burrs were mostly from my uh, sketchbook 
not the resin. So I should have uh, sanded that down before I started or fixed that before I started. And here it is uh, in its finished state. There's a couple of uh, shapes there that are a little bit lighter, I think, than the others, but it's okay. It doesn't bother me. Um, you can see through it. Uh, the paper on the inside soaked the resin up a little bit. That's all right, too. So there it is. I'm excited about using my new sketchbook and walking around town with it. Um, expect some questions about my uh, resin-covered sketchbook. Until next time, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Later.